the rest, the answers. Okay, so they can see the answers. So here is to justify conclusions. Here it says the greatest common factor of any two even numbers is always even. Determine whether this statement is true or false. If true, explain why. So I know two even numbers. I'm going to say true because I know it's two even numbers are always going to have a two. So how about we'll say, I'm going to say all even numbers have a factor of two. And if I know there's a two in the common factor, there's always going to be an even number, right? And two times any number gives an even product, right? If I multiply two numbers together, right, two times nine, nine's an odd number, but when I multiply it times two, it becomes 18 is an even number, right? Hopefully you guys remember your even numbers, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. All right, so I'm gonna keep going down at the bottom. It says circle the correct term that makes this sentence true. The blank of the common factors of two or more numbers is the blank common factor of the numbers. So the greatest of the common factors of two com or more numbers is the greatest common factor of the numbers. Since we're talking about greatest common factors right now, right? is the greatest of the numbers. The greatest number that they have in common is the greatest of the numbers. All right, Jeremiah will share his collection with his friends so that they each receive the same number of cards. What is the greatest number of cards they will receive? So he's gonna share his cards. He has a card collection, sports cards. He has baseball and football cards. He has 32 baseball and 24 football cards. He will, he's going to share his collection with his friends so they all have the same number of cards. Right? He can't give them the same number because he has more baseball than football. But he's going to share them up among his friends. So he could give them each. So I'm going to find the greatest common factor of 32 and 24. How about, I'll write it right here so it's bigger, 32 and 24. I could also look back at what the problems we already do, because I know we did 32 already. And I know we did 24 already. Right, so I don't have to do this every single time. I could look, I could make a chart. If I was taking a test or something, I could look at my, once I do it, I don't have to redo it so many times. I could look at it again. So I'm going to say 1 and 32. And 32 is even, right? We were just saying that, so I know it will break up. 2 times 16 is 32. 3 does not go into 32, sorry. 4, right? 3 won't go into it. It won't give me an even, but 4 will because I know four times eight is 32. How about five? Nope. Six? Nope. Seven? Nope. Eight is already there. So I'm done. Now I'll do my next number. One and 24. So two into 24? Yep, two times 12 is 24. 
3 and a 24? Oh, 3 times 8 is 24. 4 and a 24? 4 times 6, right? 5 won't go. 6, I already have 6, so I'm done. So now I have to see which is the biggest number that both of them have in common. I can see that it is the... Right, and this way he can break his cards up and give, he can give friends each eight cards. And he'll be out of cards, right? He'd give, he's going to have, he can give um, four friends baseball cards of each, right? And he can give, for his football cards, he can give six friends his baseball cards, right? He has, so he can give ten friends cards all together. But that's not what they're asking us. They're asking us, how is he going to break them up? What's the greatest card, number of cards each friend can receive? Eight. All right now, I could, once I know that, I can add, answer all que kinds of questions. I can say he's going to be able to give ten friends cards. And I can even do this. No, I won't. I'll stop right there. Oh, and let me, so I'm going to, I'm recording this, so let me go up so I can show the front in case anyone missed it. They, if they are, can just pause it and see what problem they're missing. But I will put it back on here. And I'm, I know some of you guys are like, it's hard to do math. This is hard. So let me do attendance real quick before we go and see who stayed until the end. Oh, sorry. Ah, I better not record the attendance part.